How long could we survive on other planets in our solar system using these incredible spacesuits? Today, we're about to embark on an extraordinary journey through the cosmos to find out. From extreme temperatures to toxic atmospheres, we'll be taking a closer look at the survival durations for humans on each planet. Starting with our closest star and the ultimate source of light and warmth, the Sun, but also the most inhospitable place for human life. With temperatures reaching up to 27 million degrees Fahrenheit at its core, even the most advanced spacesuit would be futile. But the question arises, how long could we survive near the Sun? Unfortunately, even the most advanced spacesuit is no match for the Sun's intense heat and radiation. Without proper shielding, approaching the Sun's surface would lead to instantaneous and catastrophic consequences. In a mere second, we would be vaporized, even with a spacesuit on, let alone without one. Next up is Neptune. The icy giant at the outer reaches of our solar system is a captivating and mysterious planet. Its mesmerizing blue hue draws us in, but beneath its enchanting appearance lies an incredibly harsh environment. With freezing temperatures averaging around minus 360 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 218 degrees Celsius, Neptune is one of the coldest places in our solar system. When it comes to survival on Neptune, the combination of extreme temperatures and its atmosphere presents insurmountable challenges. In such extreme conditions, a human would not be able to withstand the freezing temperatures for more than a second. The lack of breathable air, combined with the intense cold, would quickly lead to hypothermia and asphyxiation. Continuing the planetary journey, we encounter Uranus, which, despite its comedic associations, is far from a hospitable abode for humans. With an average temperature of minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 224 degrees Celsius, it ranks among the coldest places in our solar system. The atmospheric composition of Uranus adds another layer of inhospitality. It consists mainly of hydrogen and helium with traces of methane and ammonia. Given these harsh conditions, it's clear that survival on Uranus's surface is not a viable option for humans. In fact, without adequate protection and life-supporting technology, the time a human could endure on Uranus would be measured in mere seconds. However, it's worth mentioning that while it may currently be out of our reach to make Uranus a livable destination, future technologies might offer solutions that could potentially extend human survival on such inhospitable planets. These gas giants, along with Saturn, the majestic ringed planet, are all impossible for humans to survive on. Saturn's average temperature of minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 179 degrees Celsius, is colder than the chilliest winter day on Earth. This bone-chilling environment would rapidly drain the heat from our bodies, causing hypothermia and leading to certain death within minutes. So, while we can marvel at Saturn's beauty and the grandeur of its rings, it's clear that it won't be our next cosmic vacation spot. As we continue to explore the mind-boggling dangers of Jupiter's crushing atmosphere and the need for advanced gear, I suggest you brace yourselves, because we're about to dive into the largest planet in our solar system. Jupiter's massive size doesn't make it any more hospitable. The average temperature on Jupiter is a bone-chilling minus 234 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 145 degrees Celsius. To put that in perspective, it's colder than some of the most frigid expeditions in Antarctica. Such extreme cold would quickly drain the heat from our bodies, leading to hypothermia and ultimately death. Add to that its predominantly hydrogen and helium atmosphere, along with various poisonous gases, and you'll understand why humans need more than just a spacesuit to survive there. So, without any gear, you would get crushed in less than one second. I suggest we leave Jupiter for the gas giants to enjoy. Moving on from these gassy planets to our first rocky planet on the list and the closest one to the Sun, Mercury. With its scorching daytime highs of 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 427 degrees Celsius, and freezing nighttime lows of minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 179 degrees Celsius is a roller coaster of temperatures. Without your spacesuit, you would either freeze or instantly turn into a carbon brick, depending on which side of the planet you are standing on. If you were to venture there without any gear, you would survive for less than two minutes, provided that you held your breath. Its thin atmosphere can't offer the protection we need, making long-term survival impossible. Mercury, 
it's a no from us. Here's another fun fact for you. Venus is often referred to as Earth's evil twin. Despite its alluring beauty, with its bright atmosphere and captivating clouds, Venus is far from hospitable. In fact, it's a sizzling hot furnace. With temperatures reaching a blistering 900 degrees Fahrenheit, 475 degrees Celsius, Venus is hotter than Mercury, even though it's farther from the Sun. Its thick atmosphere, primarily composed of carbon dioxide and clouds of sulfuric acid, carries a runaway greenhouse effect. Sorry, but a spacesuit won't cut it on Venus. Last but not least, let's reflect on the unparalleled beauty and sustainability of Earth for human life. On Earth, we have everything we need to thrive. Suitable temperatures, access to water, and an atmosphere that shields us from harmful cosmic radiation. Thanks to these favorable conditions, humans have flourished on this planet for thousands of years. But let's not take our cozy home for granted, as our journey through the solar system will remind us of the uniqueness and preciousness of our earthly abode. So, without holding our breaths or donning any kind of spacesuit, we can survive for about 80 years. Not bad! If we shift our gaze to our closest celestial neighbor, we find the moon. Despite being just a stone's throw away, survival on the moon presents an entirely different set of challenges. With an average temperature ranging from a scorching 253 degrees Fahrenheit, 123 degrees Celsius during the day, to a bone-chilling minus 387 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 233 degrees Celsius at night, the lunar surface is a harsh and unforgiving place. Ebolism and lack of oxygen would inevitably kill you, so without a suit, a person could survive for about three minutes. Now let's set our sights on the red planet, Mars. With its rusty hue and captivating landscapes, Mars has long captured the imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. But can we survive there? Well, Mars offers a slightly more favorable environment compared to some other celestial bodies. While Mars is considerably colder than Earth, with average temperatures around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 62 degrees Celsius, its thin atmosphere poses a significant challenge. The Martian atmosphere is primarily composed of carbon dioxide, making it unsuitable for us to breathe directly. Therefore, without any protective gear, you would only get about two minutes to explore the planet. However, future explorers could potentially use advanced technology to extract oxygen from the carbon dioxide-rich environment, making Mars more habitable. But it doesn't end there. Mars lacks a magnetic field, leaving its surface exposed to harmful solar radiation. This poses a long-term health risk for humans. To mitigate these dangers, future Mars missions will require extensive shielding and protective measures, such as underground habitats or radiation-absorbing materials. <laughs>